Kotao is not connected to the mainland electricity, but instead it has two power stations that generate all of the electricity for the island. There is the government-run station, which is located en route to Aoluk on the right-hand side and is the cheaper option, around about 10 baht per unit. In 2014, they finally decided to install five more generators to help accommodate the ever-growing numbers of visitors and locals due to the higher demand for electricity from all the new resorts. The private station, Nam Seng, is situated en route to Mango Bay in Sairi, also on the right-hand side. The cost for private electricity is considerably higher at 35 baht per unit. This company only supplies Mayhat and Sairi. Kotao is trying to keep up to date by implementing eco-friendly options to help with the ever-growing need for electricity by having installed a wind diesel turbine which can generate up to 300,000 kilowatts of power per year. Along with the six new turbines on the way here, that would surely mean that the blackouts would be history. The only problem with this is the turbine that is already here only runs about 2% of the year. It requires a minimum speed of 9 miles per hour or 7.7 .7 knots and will stop if the wind speed reaches 56 miles per hour, 48.5 knots or stronger. The current turbine had an astounding cost of 35 million baht, 780,000 euros. So the six new turbines at the same cost means that a minimum of 210 million baht or 4.68 million euros is going to be wasted from government funding or investors money through the company Environtech 2 Company Limited. This company also supplies solar panels, so why not here? Environtech 2 Company Limited have failed to give any comment on this. The new turbines are to be placed on top of the mountain that has the two useless reservoirs on it, making for some of the last few places of Kotao Paradise to be ruined. Unfortunately, the location for the new turbines has narrow and treacherous routes with landslides and tight corners, so considering the size of the turbine sections and the vehicles that must transport them here, it will be impossible if not very dangerous to install them. Completion date is due to be around September 2014.